So if you're one of the people that's confused about how to set up a multicolor LED strip like this one that's red, green, blue with a DC dimmer, uh, don't feel bad. You're not alone. Our tech support department probably gets that call three times a week. So the thing about it, there are two characteristics that um, are confusing. So let's do this demo with a WDIM. So this works with a wireless DMX transmitter. It has three channels, which is a perfect ma uh, match for this red, green, blue LED tape that I have. So the first thing that you need to uh, recognize that's confusing is that the common on all LED products, 99.9% .9 of LED products, the common is positive rather than negative. And then to get even more confusing, almost everyone uses colors that represent what the LEDs are going to be. So what we have here is a red wire for the red side, a red wire for the red lights, uh, a green wire for the green lights, and a blue wire for the blue lights. And we're left with some other fourth wire that is the common, and it could be any color. In this case, it's white, which it's not a bad choice. Sometimes it's black, and that can be very confusing because the first thing you'll think, if you're familiar with uh, standard wire colors for DC power, black is going to make you say, okay, I better go negative with that. And it's not true. It's almost always going to be positive. By almost, I mean you're never going to see one that's not that way. So on the dimmer, very conveniently, all RC4 wireless dimmers are also common positive, making this super easy to do. And what common positive means, of course, is battery is coming in over here. I've got a connector ready to connect up to my power. And that plus terminal, plus DC in, is actually connected inside the device to all the other plus terminals. And the dimming action happens on the negatives. That's the other key thing to remember. So two points to remember. Number one, the common on the LED tape is positive. Number two, the uh, dimming action in the product happens on the negative. So now let's wire this up, taking those two factors into account. The white wire is the common in this case, and I can connect it to any positive terminal, and I'm just going to start with the positive on the dim A output. And then I have my red wire, which is the negative. Remember, all the action happens on the negative, and the strip is common positive, so I'm going into negative A with the red. And I want to do red, green, blue, so negative uh, green goes into negative on the next channel. And finally, blue goes into the negative of the third channel. And we'll just get these screws tightened in and have those wires secured, and we'll show you that. So here's what we have. Just to review exactly what's happening, power is coming in here. So red and black, where red is positive and black is negative, like DC power is supposed to be. And then the white wire is positive common for the LEDs, and so it's connected to the positive terminal on dim A. It doesn't have to be that one. It could be any of the positives because they're all the same. And then the red line goes to negative on the first dimmer. The green line goes to negative on the second dimmer. And the blue line goes to negative on the third dimmer. That's the complete setup. Now let's plug it in. Here is my battery. I'm going to provide the power to light the whole thing up and run the dimmer. Plug that in. I have already paired this with my transmitter, so the blue light is on solid to say it's paired. The DMX data light is on solid to say I have streaming data. And it is um, set to the default channels, so channels 1, 2, and 3 are my dimmers. And by the way, the color order is different because I think the, LED, the LEDs are the wrong order. Let's not worry about that at the moment. But let's set the whole thing to different channels. So let's go to channel 13. I want to make the whole thing work on channel 13. For the ISL slow curve, inverse square law, that's ISL, is the best for LEDs. So I've just brought up uh, channel 13 to 30%, which selects ISL. And I go to set A, push the button, and now we see the reds come on. And we will have three contiguous channels. Red and blue and green because they're out of order. And let's take a moment and put them in the right order. So now I know that I want this one to actually be green and that's on the third channel. So I'm gonna to go to 30% and go to the second one. I'm gonna, actually the blues are on so I'm gonna to go to the third one. 
And then I'm going to bring up what I want to be the last one and go to the middle. And now I have, by manually setting and not settling with the three contiguous, I now have red, green, and blue. And using one touch, you just saw me put them in the correct order. So quick recap, LED tape, um, battery for power. The common line on the LED tape is, uh, in this case, a white wire, but whatever color it would be, you want that to be positive. And then red to a negative, green to a negative, blue to a negative, and you're ready to go. It's really very easy. Setting the channel is super easy with RC4 one touch, and you're off and running.